Hey everybody, welcome back. Trailer reaction time, and today I've got a trailer I am very, very excited for. A trailer some of you have already probably seen in the movie theaters and stuff, but I didn't. I wanted to see it with y'all. Today, today we're here to watch trailer number one for Nosferatu. I wonder if it's going to be silent. It's, it's not going to be silent. Do I have a joke here? Um... Um, you know what? I bet you this movie is going to be really awesome. It's going to be the best version of Nosferatu we ever get. I'd stake my reputation on it. Crickets? Yeah, I, I feel you. If you want to see this trailer without getting my failing comedy face in the way, I'm on a run of I've got too much in the brain. I can't be funny right now. In the way, there's a link in the description below or something's popping up right about now. You can click on that, check it out, come on back, watch me watch this, and then we'll geek out over together because it's going to be geek out worthy. We already know this. The filmmaker Robert Eggers, uh, is, Egger, Egger, Egger. I got now I got Men in the Black, Men, on, men in Black on the brain. Um, uh, is a fantastic filmmaker. He's got a fantastic cast, and I mean, listen, the Nosferatu story is excellent, and I've seen the originals. Uh, well, the original, and then like, what was there a European version or something? I've seen a couple of the silent film versions, or no, the silent film version, and then what's the other version? Was it Hammer? It wasn't Hammer. Anyways, I've seen two of the original versions. Really, really dug them. Love the original Nosferatu design. Really excited to get in here and see what we get. And you know what? I've talked too much. And they call this trailer number one, but it looks pretty short. So I'm going to call this a teaser. I'll still call it trailer number one for the algorithm. I like to match what they call the trailer. But let's get in here and let's see what we get. Ah, ah, ah. I do not say ah, ah. You just did. All right. Let's watch. Come to me. Come to me. Hear my call. Come to me. Yes. My dreams grow darker. Does evil come from within us? Or from beyond? We are here encountering the vampire. Okay, I have to blow my nose. I'm sorry. Allergies have not been as terrible, but it's hitting me real bad right this second. Hold on. Um, whoa. Okay, let's get the elephant out of the room. The last thing that I saw there bugs me a little bit. Christmas. Why are we putting this out at Christmas? No, don't get me wrong. I'm not one of those horror belongs in October guys. I'm a horror fan. I want horror all year round, so I'm fine with December. But an actual Christmas release? That is some... That's some crazy counter-programming that, I mean, with the struggles in theater, I don't know that I'd be risking something like that right now. Um, but hopefully this does well, because other than that, this looks phenomenal, dude. Nicholas Holt, Willem Dafoe, I mean, come on. The visuals, the cities, the, the skylines we're seeing, the, act, the, uh, the, the vibe of that trailer, the way that trailer is put together, if that translates into the movie at all, if it's going to be like that kind of work with music and sound design, this thing is gonna be incredible. And I love that they did not give us a true look at Nosferatu in this. I kinda of would love it they just don't until you go to the movie. You know, just keep them in super shadow and stuff. Unless it's because the bright lights in my eyes are, you know, I don't know. But um, yeah, I expected to really think that was cool, but I was immediately swept away. And it did feel a little more like a teaser, but the idea that everybody's having like these shared dreams and he is coming, he is coming. It's like, so am I, because this looks amazing and I'll be there in the theater at Christmas, apparently, um, or right after. I don't really do Christmas release movies because like, 
the crowds aren't usually the best. Uh, you know, that's why I, I have, anyways, that, that's a rant for another day. Um, but yeah, no, yeah. Take my money. Like I would, I, if I could go see that right now, I'd stop doing what I'm doing. And I'd be out the door in a heartbeat. That looks incredible. All right, well, how do you all feel? Are you on the same page with me? Have you seen the original silent film or any version of Nosferatu? Um, let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. I would love to hear what you have to say. The Werner Herzog version. That's the other version I saw. I just can't remember the details of the dates, but they're both great versions. And Joe Bob did it on The Last Drive-In. Hosted both of those one night in a double feature, and it was, it was fantastic. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, anyways, let me know. Geek out with me in the comments. I can't wait to hear what you have to say on this one, especially my mutant fan peeps and my other horror fan peeps. Let's hear it. Other than that, though, you can click that thumbs up button. Give me that good old thumb of encouragement, as I do love to be encouraged. And remember that we will get through this. We will get through this together. And we have to, because we got to get to Christmas so we can see this fantastic version of Nosferatu. And if you'd like to say that with me, as some of you like to, let's do it. We will get through this. We will get through this together. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm not sure I needed the mantra after that trailer. That trailer was the mantra itself. All right, other than that, though, you can go check out my music. Look up Eric Butts anywhere you listen to music and try a couple songs. See what you think. You might be pleasantly surprised. I hope so. I think at least it's quality. It's done well. I'm still, I don't feel like I'm 100% perfected, um, you know, uh, uh, I feel like I've perfected mixing to a T, to a, to a degree, and I'm not quite there with mastering, but I'm close. Like, I'm just... Too, maybe too much. I just need to dial back a little bit. Anyways, I, I, it's way, that's way too much inside baseball shop talk, shop, shop talk right there. Uh, but check it out. See what you think. Get excited for some new stuff. I'm always improving too. But again, I mean, it's good. It's good. I'm just my own harshest critic. I'm the biggest fan and my biggest critic. So that's why no one can ever say anything that'll upset me. I Trust me, I'll say worse. Um, <laughs> anyways... What else do I say? You can go to ericbutts.com for all that funky butts fun you're looking for. And there's more with the links in the description below. So click that see more button to see more butts. And on that note, I'm going to get on out of here and get real excited. I got one more trailer. And there's just a few more. And I'll be on my Disney trip in July. July. Like an idiot. That's right. I'm doing it. This year, I go to Disney every other month. And, and then some. We'll talk about that in the vlogs. All right. I'm going to get on out of here. I'm going to go watch some more stuff. I'll see you all in the theaters in Christmas, and I'll see you all tomorrow with whatever video comes next. I'll see you all later. <laughs>